So this is the plywood cog for the pirate ship mounted to the drive axle. There are ten stainless steel cap screws that hold one half of the cog to a steel plate that is welded to the steel shaft and that steel plate is actually encased in the middle of the two halves of the plywood cog. On the outer edge there is a quarter inch aluminum and then copper plate for trim that I'll probably end up doing some swirl jewel work to or etch or sandblast some pattern on there so this will get decorated later but for now the cog is actually mounted to the drive shaft and I'm still debating on what type of motor I want to put on here so I saved milling the end of the shaft until I know what type of uh, coupler I'll need one possibility is one of these uh, spider couplers that will actually mill the receiving end at the end of that shaft to hook that up to. Now this piece of aluminum used to be a, a ramp sitting on a concrete floor so it's been driven over multiple times. Plywood and uh, steel plate on the inside of here so I was a little bit leery on what type of accuracy I'd be able to get. And you can see here I have a dial indicator um, that's pressed up against the wheel here. And I've got it set right now at the low spot on the wheel, so it's reading zero. Now, each one of those increments is uh, thousandths of an inch. And so if I start to spin the wheel, we can see it jumps up and it gets to about 21, maybe 22 uh, thousands of an inch and then back to zero. So give you an idea that's about the thickness of six sheets of paper or so. So it's fairly pretty true as far as it goes that way. At least it's truer than I was hoping to get with the aluminum and all this plywood in between. So very very happy with that. Um, I did set it up so if I wanted to I could put some shims in here and adjust the angle that this bolts up to but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it any more accurate than that so pretty happy with where that is. So that's the cog. Let me uh, pull that away. It's mounted on the pillow box here so we can actually spin it. And at full speed, this guy's going to be going about 200 RPM, so it's going to be going pretty good.